Alright guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel and today what we're going to be going over is Tapa Bulu back in 5 star raids with its new move. So let's get straight into the information and then we'll look over Tapa Bulu as a Pokemon in general. So, Tapa Bulu is back in 5 star raids and it is from t uh, today at 10am all the way up to April 25th at 10am. Uh, Tapa Bulu will know its signature move of Nature's Madness. Um, in training battles, this will have 80 power and will give a lower defense every time. Doesn't say a chance to, which is actually really good. And then in gyms and raids, it will be 90 power. So, okay, like stats in trainer battles, so it might be good in PvP. We will have to find out. Moving on to the raid hours for this Pokemon, this will be happening on April 17th and April 24th. Um, I think that is it yes so the shiny is this um it's basically changed its colors around it's more of a white with a black surrounding rather than a pink one um so it's not too bad if you are looking at the cp for weather boosted and non weather boosted you're looking at 1953 for non weather boosted moving on to weather boosted it'll be 2442 um it should know the move nature's madness if it doesn't, it might just be a glitch. They can happen at some times. With the best counters apparently being Mega Beedrill, Nilahago, Roserade, Reveroom, Overquill, and then Toxicroak. However, I would be using Mega Rayquaza because it is a grass type. I know it's um, super effective against Dragon, but it is a grass type. So I'd be taking in Mega Rayquaza, then I'd be taking in kind of like any other flying type so i'd probably take six requires to be honest one being mega and um, you should uh, do the good amount of damage with that overall set Um moving on to its actual stats which are here i'm not actually going to go to pokemon db which is where i new normally go to for this Um it has a hp stat of 172 an attack stat of 249 and a defense stat of 215 so it's not too bad it is only weak to fire, flying, ice, two times weak to poison, and then weak to steel. As it is weak to poison twice, maybe this would be the best set to do to. Mega Beedrill, Nilahago, Roserade, Reveroom, Overcool, Toxicroak. It just depends on what Pokemon you have on your account and if you have that kind of counters for it. Not everyone will have Nilahago. Um, you should be able to get a Roserade. They have been out pretty recently. Uh, Vera Room was really hard to get in eggs. Overquill, you have to do 20 raids with a uh, history and cruel quillfish, so that one's a bit hard to get to. Toxicroak's really easy, and obviously Beedrill was from the Mega Evolution storyline, so you should have way enough to get a Mega Beedrill. Um, other than that, that's kind of it for Tapu Bulu. However, we do have another event coming out tomorrow, so give me two seconds and I'll bring that up. All right, guys, and we are back. And as you can see on screen, Mega Heracross Raid Day is tomorrow. Now, if you do miss out on this Raid Day, don't worry. There is um, Mega Heracross will be appearing in normal Mega Raids for, I think it's two weeks. So you should definitely be able to get a good enough amount of energy to Mega Evolve this Pokemon and potentially also get Shiny. But as of tomorrow at 2 p.m. till 5 p.m., there'll be a Mega Raid Day for Heracross, you will get five extra raid passes just like normal. Um, you will also be able to do 20 remote raid passes if you do do remote raids still. Um, you'll have an increased chance of getting a shiny and also two or more trainers definitely complete an in-person raid, more Pokemon will appear around you. Yeah, so this is a brand new feature coming to Mega Raids and Raid Days. They're usually using for the Elite Raids and then when you defeat an Elite Raid around the raid for I think it's like 100 meters or something like that, you will get more Pokemon spawning. I think they tried to do it with like Zapdos and things like that. However, this is really good that they're bringing it to normal raids and raid days. So I'm really happy with this feature. I think it will be really good. However, it kind of negates a raid day. So it's really good that they brought out this new feature. It will help a lot of po like people get Pokemon. Hopefully it's linked to the raid. So if you take down Mega Heracross, you're going to see more fighting and bug type Pokemon than anything else. But there's no um, definitive information on that yet. However, 
it is for 15 minutes. Now, if you're doing a raid day, you want to get as many raids done as possible. You are going to want to go from raid to raid to raid to raid to raid. Obviously, if you have only got the five, if you do go and buy the Heracross ticket in the store, you will get up to 14. So you will need to basically run like to each gym without stopping to use them 14 passes. So I think 15 minutes might be a bit high. I would have gone for five or 10, personally. That would have been a nice little round number. Just so you get a quick influx of Pokemon to catch, and then you can go. Um, like I said, there is an event ticket that is $5. You will get all £5. You'll be getting eight additional raid passes, an increased chance to get Rare Candy XL, four Heracross, 50% more EXP from raid battles, and two times Stardust. Remember, this: these eight passes are from 2 till 10 p.m., so you can get them after the raid day finishes, but it just won't be on Heracross because I don't think it's out until the next Monday, I think it's the 15th. So if you are looking at Mega Heracross, the Mega Heracross, obviously, when you Mega Evolve does look like this, and a shiny is going to be pink. There is no Mega Heracross shiny form here for some reason. Um, but overall, this is actually going to be a really good event. Heracross has been much needed due to its fighting type. So I'm really looking forward to it. I won't actually be able to do any of the raid day, unfortunately, because I am working tomorrow. One of the biggest events of the year is happening in my industry, so I have to work, unfortunately. I will try and do maybe one or two raids if I can on my lunch break, but probably not. But we will carry on after raid day when it is out in just normal mega raids, and we'll get enough done so I can mega roll four of them. Three normal, one shiny, and then, well, hopefully I'll get a shiny and then I can mega roll, but if not, I will have to keep trying. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you all for watching this video. Like I said, um, let me know how you think of the camera. I have got a new microphone system that I've just put into place today. So hopefully it sounds okay. Please let me know in the comments if there is any muffling or if the sound cutting out, things like that. Please let me know and I will try and sort it for the next video. Also subscribe if you are new and like the video and I'll speak to you all in the next one.